Splat Communications. For reliable information that sticks. Please follow, subscribe, and please don't skip ads. My drug addict tayo na presidente po. A few moments later. Wala akong sinabi na ganun. Making, taking a drug. Pero kung sabihin mo, addict, wala akong sinabi na ganun. My drug addict tayo na presidente po. Tayo ang mga patay gutom na vlogger. Paul Duterte, itigil nyo na ang kahibangan nyo at pagtatanggol sa tatay nyo. Taasong gago at ulul na kapitoko pa din kay Duterte. Panuorin nyo mabuti ang video at napakaraming kasiraan ibinato ni Dugong Duterte kay PBBM. May paghamon-hamon pa siya na magpadrug test daw silang dalawa sa luneta <laughs> mga vlogger supporter dyan patapanggol at walang magawa sa buhay kung hindi puro humanap na lang ng content para pagkakitaan ng video para lang idepende si Duterte at utuin ang mga supporter niyang mga ulul din na katulad ninyo diba? at kung wala siya na nanahimik siya at hindi siya nagpapakuto sa mga taong nasa paligid niya hindi siya nagpapagamit sa mga taong nakapalibot sa kanya para sa mga personal agenda at sa mga personal interest I think ang respeto sana ay hindi na mabibu yan ang problema sa inyo hanggang ngayon nagpapakatanga ha? masakit sabihin na tanga lahat kayo na mga dumidepensa na akala ninyo strategy Matanda na si dating Pangulong Duterte. Ulyanin na. Pabayaan nyo ang gobyernong ito. Pabayaan nyo umusad tayo. Pabayaan natin maglingkod ang gobyernong ito nang marakita natin at nang tayo'y umasenso naman. Good day ladies and gentlemen. Our video for today are excerpts from the vlog of for team hard-hitting vlogger Cap Nino Barsaga as he admonishes the remaining Duterte die-hard supporters or DDS vloggers who continue to try and put a spin to the recent direct recantation of former President Duterte, specifically when he accused the incumbent President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. of being a drug addict last January 28th only to deny saying those a month after and he claims he never said anything. To that effect. This is a reaction video. And as always, we shall reserve our full reaction at the end. For clarity and context. Based on our assessment on the online persona of veteran vlogger Cap Nino Barsaga as we mentioned in our previous videos, we honestly feel that he is a person of substance. He is not afraid to call out fake news peddlers and government officials while using crass, vulgar language for which he has a disclaimer prior to his videos. According to him, this type of language are merely his form of expression. His analysis and questions are spot on. He has been a political vlogger since the time of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. He says never monetizes his social media platforms and considers this as a hobby as he does not rely on the earnings of his vlogs. His commentaries are based on first-hand knowledge and personal experiences. He has proof to back up his statements. Based on these alone, we find him a very credible and reliable source of informatin. Cap Nino is someone who clearly walks the talk unlike others vloggers and influencers. We agree and we are with him in exposing fake news peddlers and outright fake news. For us, his choice of other content like goofing off and wearing odd clothing based on his sexual preference does not matter. It is his right to express himself. So are you ready? We shall start immediately after our channel intro with shout outs. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Splat Communications.
Your channel for reliable, relevant, and accurate information regarding sports, surveys, statistics, science, politics, people, lifestyle, arts, travel, and technology. Kanino daw napupunta ang pera? Mm, si Eddie. Sino si Eddie? <laughs> Wala ka na ba ibang argumento maisip sa utak mo? Tumindig kayo! Yung ganito? Tiniti ako, meron ding titindig sa tabi nyo. At para na lang sigurado? Ito. Anong pangalan nyo ulit? Ha, Rastaman, yo. Half human, half zombie. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with a big butt butt? Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Shout on YouTube. Shout on BTS. Confused Beer. Oh, W. Josh T. Aries Capuyan. Glorioso Villaranda. Honey Mia B. Mark Dacula. Life Extend. Rick Dedele. Carol Roca. Purification Salas. Alex Malazarte. Scorpio. Green Baldomero. Roberto Lupante Joe Castro Bilardo Guerra Amado Salisi Randy Tarbisa Walter Dole Terry Coy Rosa Ana Cordova Hoy, mga dugong supporter, vlogger, nagkalat na naman kayo ng mga katangahan at kabubuhan. Manang-mana kayo sa amon nyo na puun na si dating Pangulong Duterte. Kitang-kita at rinig na rinig sa video na sinabi ni Dugong na adik si BBBM. Maliwanag pa sa sikat ng araw na sinasabi niya yun. Tapos ngayon, sasabihin nyo, walang sinasabi si Dugong. Mga ulul kayo, mga asong gago at ulul na kapitoko pa din kay Dugterte. Panuorin nyo mabuti ang video at napakaraming kasiraan ibinato ni Dugong Duterte kay PBBM. May paghamon, hamon pa siya na magpa-drug test daw silang dalawa sa luneta <laughs> hoy mga gago wala kayong mauulul dito kayo kayo na lang ang mga hindot at palipundas mga adik dito sa Pilipinas kayo ang mga patay gutom na vlogger for Duterte itigil nyo na ang kahibangan nyo at pagtatanggol sa tatay nyong tarampadot gagot na manyak na si Mang Canor kaya kayong lager supporter dyan patapanggol at walang magawa sa buhay kung hindi puro humanap na lang ng content para pagkakitaan ng video para lang idepende si Duterte at utuin ang mga supporter niyang mga ulul din na katulad ninyo sama-sama na kayo na tumalon sa building May drug addict tayo na presidente put A few moments later Wala akong sinabi na ganun Make it Taking a drug. Pero kung sabi mo adik, wala ka pong sinabi na. My drug adik tayo na presidente put. Ngayon, ano ang tawag don? Wala siyang sinabi na kung ano ano ng paninira sa kasalukuyan administrasyon. Alam niyo sa mga sa mga Duterte blogger na nagsusumiksik ngayon na sinasabi ninyo strategy daw yan ni dating Pangulong Duterte isang kataramtaduhan isang kaululan at higit sa lahat hindi nyo kayang iparibat yan ang mahirap kay Pangulong Duterte paiba-iba na nang sinasabi di ba? at kung wala siya na nanahimik siya at hindi siya nagpapakuto sa mga taong nasa paligid niya, hindi siya nagpapagamit sa mga taong nakapalibot sa kanya para sa mga personal agenda at sa mga personal interest. I think, ang respeto sana ay hindi 
na babago. Yan ang problema sa inyo na hanggang ngayon nagpapakatanga. Ha? Masakit sabihin na tanga lahat kayo na mga dumidepensa na akala ninyo strategy. Matanda na si dating Pangulong Duterte. Kulyani na. Yan lang oh, sinabi niya oh. Wala daw siyang sinasabi na adik na gumagamit ng droga. Pa paano nyo yan ipapag-explain? Pa paano nyo yan ipaparibat? E may mga nauna siyang video na sinasabi. Tapos ngayon babawiin? Tapos sasabihin ng mga defender? Wala, strategy lang ni Digong yan. Strategy lang ni Pangulong Duterte. Bullshit! Isang katarantaduhan. Hmm? Isang malaking kahibangan ang sinasabi ninyo. Pabayaan nyo ang gobyernong ito, pabayaan nyo ubusan tayo, pabayaan natin maglingkod ang gobyernong ito nang makita natin at nang tayo'y umasenso naman. Iyon, nagwawatak-watak nang dahil sa matandang Duterte na yan at tayo'y nang nagkakagulo-gulo na sa bansang Pilipinas dahil sa mga katulad yung mga ulul na tanga na vlogger. All real talk. Everything that Cap Nino Barsaga mentioned in this vlog is all real talk. Again, we edited the video for those who may find the cuss and invectives. We want the people to hear the message loud and clear without any unnecessary bias. First of all, we agree that most of the influencers are just using the former president for their personal agenda. The former president may have his own agenda too. Whether why he changed his statement is no longer a surprise for us as there have been so many instances that he has done this kind of double talk. However, he may not have realized that he is no longer in power now and his statements may not really hold value unlike before. We agree with Cap Nino that these other vloggers should just allow the former president to retire in peace with his grandchildren. He deserves a break. His failing health and memory could no longer bear to withstand all the challenges facing the nation. If these vlogs and supporters really care for the former president, the best gift they could give him is peace of mind in the remaining days of his life. But it seems some supporters still have the hangover for power and the benefits that go with it. They just want the good times to be back for them to get the former benefits they were receiving. It's as simple as that. We agree with what Cap Nino stated that we should allow the present government under the leadership of President Bongbong Marcos to do its work. If you are a die-hard DDS supporter or vloggers, how many times and occasions has the former president stated that he has not found any major fault in the presidency of BBM? Do you know? What instances are those? With all of this, it's time for us to move forward as a united citizenry. Both President Duterte during his time and PBBM now only want what is the best for the country. That is a fact. For those who say otherwise, that is such a lame and baseless accusation. We agree strongly with Cap Nino that the vlogs cannot simply state and try to spin this. The video recordings are as clear as they. These vloggers owe it to themselves to assess their own realities and their sense logic. Spinning this the other way around is simply an act of desperation and shows a lack of love and respect for themselves. It else poses a very big question to their emotional capacity and their sanity. What can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. In behalf of the entire Splat Communications team. Thank you. Until next time, stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.